Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to solve slope-intercept parametric equations. So these equations are written as x equals something and y equals something. So they both use the variable t. So let's say we have x equals 1 plus t and y equals 2 plus t. Well, let's solve for t so that we can substitute it in to the other problem because that's the variable that's been repeated here. So here, if we isolate the t by subtracting 2 from both sides, we get that t equals y minus 2, right? So now we're going to take this value for t and plug it into this equation. So we have x equals 1 plus, instead of writing t, we'll write y minus 2 because that's what t equals. Now let's simplify. If x equals 1 plus y minus 2, x equals y minus 1, right? Just adding the 1 and the negative 2. Now, the important next step is to add 10 to both sides. Remember this step. So you have x plus 10 equals y minus 1 plus 10, right? We just added 10 to both sides. You can do anything to an equation as long as you do it to both sides. So now what do we get? We get x plus 10 equals y plus 9, right? That's negative 1 plus 10 is positive 9. So now we just want to solve for y so that we get it into slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So we subtract 9 from both sides, and we get y equals x plus 1. And that is our slope-intercept form of the parametric, parametric equation. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.